comes the axe. Prove yourself. Now, because he is uh, a little bit forward, but I just burning away here. He the hell they follow up the fire blast. Can they get this kill? One more hit. First blood gets drawn by Moon Neander. That is not how you want to start this. They're gonna try to go for a little bit of a die here, Afu, but they have a stick. Oh, that light strike ray could have been a disaster. It is a disaster. We lose Afu too. Too greedy. Careful here too now because he is uh, a little bit forward. Monet just burning away here. He the hell they follow up the fire blast. Can they get this kill? One more hit. First blood gets drawn by Moon Neander. That is not how you want to start this. They're going to try to go for a little bit of a die here, Afu, but they have a stick. Oh, that light strike ray could have been a disaster. It is a disaster. We lose Afu, too. Too greedy. For a moon, just throws out that casual, wants to try to take someone out, but will probably pay for this with his life. Not sure exactly what he's thinking here. Text up. He doesn't have buyback. Yeah, he needs to not throw the bugs out, though. Try to throw out a little bit of damage here, and we'll force the Lena back. Moon Manor doesn't seem too concerned, though. And we actually, ooh. All right, so Stay manages to get a kill over onto the Elder Titan. What happened over here in mid? My goodness. Maybe he was trying to rotate for, like, some rune control to try to protect the Bloodseeker 2 from the rotations coming in, but it does get picked off. And Monet, oh, though. Oh, Monet in the bottom lane. It would be a neat rotation. Yeah, they're trying. There's going to be the battery cell coming out. They throw out the cogs here. He's trying to just move himself back. He is getting slowed down quite a bit. This should be a kill for sure coming out. Yeah, and that'll actually go over onto the clockwork. I think they might have wanted to give it away over to, uh, you know, the Terra Blade, but they do find another kill over into this is a big concern though because of the fact that you've rotated your terror blade out of a lane so that just means that you're gonna see more supports maybe making it like i said a rotation over to the uh the mid lane here they do find the kill over onto zephyr it has got to run himself out and the lena makes a rotation to the bottom lane they're gonna take down afu here so like the problem when you make the rotation there's the nightmare coming out immediately gonna try to block off to using their body battery assault the cogs actually pushing her forward though what a disaster srf oh no they still get that kill though there's a nice multi-cast, immediately going to go bring him back. Again, the hookshot doesn't connect, but they managed to get the Fiend script. They're going to go and throw down that Earth Splitter. We'll be able to pull them back right now, and it looks like they should be able to get this kill over here, taking down 3-4-3. Three, three. Set for 100. RF, trying to get himself out. Should be able to run away in time. If they got the secondary flux, I think he probably would have gotten uh, a kill. got himself another kill. Off no one can go to this lane, I think, at this I, point. They're going to try to pressure him. Bounty runes. Time to try to claim all four, as Tiger's been doing several times. Monet, oh, oh my god. No, Monet, he's just obliterated there. They'll turn around, they think about going back in. Comes out from Monet over here onto the high ground. They're trying to just shred through all this Bloodseekers in for so much trouble. He's going to have so much issues. Can he get back fast enough? Yes, they'll be able to do it. They'll be able to land over here. We've got that cheap stick. There's going to be able to take out SRF, but it's also going to be able to take out that Lina as well. Monet's in so much trouble. He gets the center oh up, there's a small tank castle over him. They're all and because of how greedy they drafted overall. They didn't have the Bane down there to secure the lane. They have a support Weaver. Oh, no. SRF, though. Yeah, 14370 wanted that Arcane Rune. Isn't going to be able to get it. They'll get themselves a quick pickoff. He tried to play in, like, how long? Because he's just farming. He's nice just thing. having all the space. Free Midas, they made the one cool move when uh -oh. they cut the tree in. Oh. Afu, Afu, you cannot come to this lane. You cannot come back. Trying to get a catch here. He's under vision, though. Moon spots him. These wards are just paying off the space for them. Look at that. Beautiful setup here. And they'll just take him out. Moon Meander is actually... Into four steps. He also mm -hmm. just needs a four step this game because they're versus clockwork. We don't see clock a whole lot, but that's the item that you need to get first, that hero still. Casual Earth Splitter thrown out here, just trying to get people off the tower. And uh, Bane has that Fiend's grip immediately. Haji is going to be able to go throw it on the blood right. Chancel it out. <laughs> oh, no, Bane. This is not your party there. Turn around, Afu. Gonna be able to Shikuchi out. They do have one sentry. They'll actually be able to D-Ward at the very least. Oh, nice hook shot coming in over here. They're gonna be able to get a cleanup kill over onto Wonder Kid. And they'll actually take down Afu as well. Is this gonna be worth it though? Because SRF is looking like he's in a world of hurt here. And this, oh, look at this Bloodseeker. He is so fast. Moon Meander follows up. So it made them take even longer to try to kill him. Oh, stay, stay. Uh, oh you are God. being pincered on so hard, my friend. Moon Meander comes forward. Blood Rite gets placed over on the ground. Afu coming through here. Going to try to chase after the Lina. Will be able to take her down, but they still have their eyes over here on the Stinker. They'll be able to murder him right in front of his own tower. Afu, oh, they have the sentry. They've got so much vision here. Fog will follow up with a rupture. He's going to be thrown over here back on the side of the river. They'll try to hug together for that spark right here. Oh, it's so he's much dead. damage. He's still dead. Head shake indeed. Oh, poor, poor Afu. He time lapses. Rupture takes the rupture damage and just goes ghosts everywhere. He's revealed by that thirst. Mm -hmm. They will find the kill on Zephyr. Clockwork's still very good at being able to hunt that one. 
perfect, but... Imagine there's a hockey for it. That'd oh. be nice. Yeah, that's what I want. Oh, the hook shot comes in, but there's so many people over here on the high ground. The PKP comes out to follow up with that Fiends group. Immediately, there comes Terrorblade. He's going to try to slice through him as fast as possible. Earthsplitter comes out, but it's not going to connect over onto the target that they want. Midas, having a great time. Hajit has mm. a four staff after this, but no, get can't, You can't four staff out of a Fiends group, though. Yeah. Yeah, they just going to burst him down there. It's a nice pick off there, for sure. Online now for the tank is going to be huge. Okay. I think he has buyback as well with that, I believe, pretty soon. In one minute, he's still actually a thousand gold. Ooh, oh, all right, Zephyr. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gets picked off. Yeah. I'm not sure what that. What they do you use the meta here? I'm going to turn around. He is kind of. Oh, you know that the Tinker's not far. Oh, the Aeon Disc is popping over here. Alina immediately sheep. They've got that Lotus Orb that they're going to throw back around. Lots of signs being thrown. Aeon Disc will get popped over on the Tinker. They know it now, but Lina will get wiped off the face of the earth. Arcordon's dying up top. Oh, boy. Yeah, there it is. They're immediately buying back. They on the Weaver. Mm -hmm. mm, Rupture gets used over here on the Bane. Oh, seems... He's going to force staff him. Do it. Do they even need it? I don't he know should... if they even need he... it. They don't need it, Aww. baby. Uh-uh. He... That lucky he... little ogre over here, but there's going to be a big Laguna Blade. SRF's still going to be able to get this kill. Moon Meander, he's going to finally get taken out. That's a wicked sick kill streak. Trouble though, he's going to be hexed up. He's going to try to run himself back in. Stomp goes through, connects a little bit over onto the side here, onto the Clockwork and the Terribly. Following up with the Earth Litter, they're going to be able to get it. They will fall with the Laguna. That's going to be one dead vein. They'll turn around. They really want to get this kill. They've got oh it. They God. take down Monet. Monet back at the base. Dazzling so hard. They needed like all of these items. He ended up just getting like an assortment. Oh, Hookshot comes through. Three, sorry, 1437. Not going to be long for this world. Even uses the Laguna, but it's a Clockwork. He's pretty damn dead. And, uh... I don't remember if you oh, oh, right into time. the loving arms of Moon Meander. And there's going to be the Blade Mail coming out. It's going to try to TP. Oh, the Fiend's Grip comes through, though. They're going to be able to take down Ajit. And there's going to be the return, though, coming out from Wonder Kid as he takes down three, four. Or will he? Oh, oh, oh just out of so close. More space for this Tinker and Terribly. Oh, there's another Hookshot coming out here. SRF, you know, making those plays. Will allow uh, the Elder Titan, though, to walk away. Has the four stuff picked oh, up? Oh, 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 the shadow blade! Down here, oh, ships passing tonight. They're on the high ground. They know that there's something up. They'll turn around. There's going to be the toss coming out here from the oh, oh the hook shot! No, Moonie oh, walks right into it. They'll follow. Oh, look at that erased SRF. Will not be causing any problems for them this time around. They throw down the Earth Splitter. Monet meant to dodge the uh, Earth, the stun from the Elder Titan. Well, he's not going to be able to man to dodge this, unfortunately. No, he will not. Killing spree. Oh Followed no, up. the multi. Afu, poor Afu. I'm gonna do what I need to do. Like I said, I saw his puck just go straight up, right? Click. Oh, baby! Do they There's have the catch? Cast. Do they have any more? They've got a Laguna Blade with Stay's face on it. And he... <laughs> oh no, Moonander goes right up onto that high ground. Immediately gonna get shredded down. He's actually down. They do have the buyback though. Again, nice time coming through there. Look for the Earth Splitter. They're gonna be able to land it over here. Maybe no. He's gonna be able to walk back. He has that Earth Splitter here. They're turning around, trying to keep him over here in the corner. Bloodseeker actually gonna get taken down. These buybacks are coming up. There's no buy. Oh my word, they're gonna have to immediately just go and use that time lapse again. There's a hook shot coming through. They find themselves the leader. They're gonna push her back. That's the end. We've got the hex out as well. Over here, we've got a little bit of a nightmare going through. They will be able to actually take down Monet. Monet gonna buy back immediately. Her BKB gets popped. Oh. We get one hell of a multicast, but when there's a BKB up, there's nothing that Moon Meander can do. He's got to move himself back. In comes this uh, Arc Ward, and he's got that signs. We'll be able to take out 343. They're going to turn their attention. Oh, they've got the Abyssal. They'll turn back around. Can they get this kill? There it is. There's a kill over onto SRF. These Cardies are doing some work over here. They got the bubble down, though. Moon Meander taking a bit of this damage. Monet is back. They've got the Dagon. They'll be able to go and take down Zephyr uh -oh. again. Look at these multicasts again. The BKBs come out. They really want to take him out, but they just cannot find enough damage just at Moon Meander. He's ready for round two. There's the BKB coming out again from Ati. They get the rupture off. He's going to try to man fight him. They get those bashes so they're going to be able to take him out. 124 seconds. He is dead. Nortice is fighting on bounties. Oh, boy. So it's looking a little scary. The force staff comes through. They've actually got the fiends going to pull oh. up. What a nice hook shot, though, coming out. We'll be able to take down Mumi and a BKB going to get revealed now. Over on to Ajit. trying to run himself away. Does have that blade mail over there, too. They chase down this Elder Titan. And there's the zap coming out. Little piggy, he has ruptured, running his butt away here. This is not looking good right now. Can he get himself up? Oh, the hook shot comes in at the last second. Oh my gosh, they find Stay over here. If they can take down Stay, that's going to be huge, but it looks like he's going to be able to get himself out. Moon Meander in for so much trouble right now. Fiend's group comes out as well. A couple hits coming out from this Weaver. Will take Moon Meander out. He is down for 123 seconds, and they still have one. Rex, but the hook shot comes back in again. SRF, he's looking. They've got so much damage. This is looking like 
It's gonna be the end fog. Hope that if it happens, we see a tip come out because I feel like that's very tip worthy. Yeah. <laughs> These group gets used though over on the Elder Titan. There's gonna be the TP coming in from the Tinker, and there it is. They do manage to just burst down the Elder Titan. Nightmare comes out over here onto the Arc Ward, and he's not gonna be able to do much of anything right now. Nice gank there by 343. Three. Finally, he's able to find someone split pushing. And they do now finally place the Ooh, the hook board. shot comes through, and that's a very dead Lena. They might actually be Telltale. They're gonna get the multicast. Still alive and kicking, though. Taking a lot of damage. In comes SRF. He does have that hook shot. Looks like Moon Meander. He's gonna be in a lot of trouble. He gets the fiend grip off. He's gonna get taken down. No buyback. No buyback on this big. Probably one big team fight. That's true. Oh, that's that two for you. And there's an Afu. Oh, he actually. Oh, the hook shot comes through from SRF. They're gonna join in this fight. Monet comes forward. He pops that metamorphosis. They'll take down 1437. He's already used Laguna. Oh, but look at that Earth Splitter. Afu is absolutely toast. They'll take down the Bane as well. Now they're kind of on the run here. They're just gonna back off a little bit. They do lose Moon Meander here. And there's just so much damage coming out. Back. Aeon just gets popped in, jumps Hajit though, he really wants that kill, but they'll just be able to go, move him back again, another hookshot coming through, gonna be able to go throughout the cogs, separate the spite a little bit here, looking for a stump, they do manage to land it over onto Monet, Monet is in for some trouble, Nightmare comes out though, and they're gonna turn back around, he goes, he uses the Mantis, he's gonna get the Sunder off, and it looks like Elder Titan actually gonna fall, there's another Fiend's Grip coming out, and in comes Stay, he's got the dig and he's got the damage, they're just going to town here, Monet, eyes on the prize. They are looking for Afu here, and immediately the time lapse comes out. Shikuchi's into the trees. I don't know if they're going to find him in time. It looks like they definitely will not. They even dropped down some of those fire grays. Oh, top lane. Uh-oh, Elder Titan, you are in for some trouble, my friend. He is going to get taken down by Stay. TP space. Yeah, 47 coming through. They do have that dust. They've got their eyes over here. Moon Meander is very, very tanky. He's turned back around. They're going to play right underneath the sentry ward. Laguna comes out. They'll take down Afu. Does manage to get that axe, though, right before he dies. 1437 trying to run away. Cannot run for this Dagon, though, right to the face backed up by quite a few friends. So they'll come around the corner. They go. They use that. Oh, no. I heard a uh, boo-boo. Uh-oh. All right. There they are going forward again. Monet here going to get hit with the light strike. All right. They'll go and land that stomp here. BKB comes out. They'll just obliterate SRF. No problem here. Easy peasy mac and cheesy. And they'll still put a little bit of damage over here trying to chase after Stay. Can they grab them in time? They cannot stomp fast enough. And they actually see oh, the Fiend's group comes out. He's over up here onto the cliff. They're still getting kills left and right though. Monet will fall off. Twittered, but he just gets left alone as the Tinker runs out of mana, has to reset, and now SRF looks like he's gonna die. Tinker, yeah. though, might be able to pick yeah, up a kill or two. He's gonna be able to get Loon Meander here for sure, and he also manages to get 1437. He needs to be careful, though. There's gonna be the Force 4. They're gonna slow him down. He's silenced up with that Blood Right. Need a little bit more damage, and they will find it for sure. That is a 10 times kill streak taken out. That's a lot of gold going over here to this Arc Warren that he definitely did not need. Oh, but there he is. He's back, comes in again. And he's here on to Monet. Nice Nightmare getting thrown over into 1437. We'll put him back with the Cogs. Nice stomp and there's the earth splitter coming through where's your armor terror blade does have that bkb though they'll turn back around they'll actually take down zephyr over here and they'll still be chasing after afu and there's just this big fight Aji just trying to man up here he's got that bkb it's looking pretty tough but that multicast coming through will clean him up immediately and there's a big laguna blade with your name on it it's gonna actually be one that's gonna be coming in here bkb comes out on him wants to ensure that his team Look can get them. what they need they're trying to protect it they're gonna <laughs> just body block with that absolute unit turning back around srf now and for a a lot of trouble here. Afu trying to get out too. Actually has to use that time lapse on himself as we discussed. But they protect the Roche. They get it over onto uh, this Arc Oh, oh Afu. Oh no. Get too much as Weaver when you get ruptured. Does that buy back though? So it looked like there was a time when RNG were having some some breathing room starting to come back in this game, but Tigers. Ooh. Oh, find themselves okay, some big plays, and he has the Dagon 5 Ethereal. Maybe he comes out here from the Elder Titan, he wants to just try to protect, but you know, he doesn't actually land that stomp. There's just so much of it. They're chasing after him. They're actually going to just take down Zephyr right now, right here. They'll follow up and they'll try to just burn down. Oh, stays on a killing spree. He is just looking so good. Look at all this damage though. The multicast, four times multicast. They're just raining out of the sky, and they're going to take down. Oh, oh, Moon Meander, three times multicast, followed up by two. Can we get a little bit more here? Oh, no. Stay. Pure skill. It's time. Orky comes out. Mm, they're just look at them, just slicing away over here onto the bane. They do get the time lapse up, but that's going to be very, very costly because they will be able to take out SRF. Nope. Taros, when they get bloodlusted, are massive. 
I like when they bloodlust the racks too. It doesn't do anything. Though. It looks fun though. Hook shot comes through. They were looking over here at the Zark Warren. There's going to be Kibi. Look at this. this Blast comes out immediately. Nightmare is going to have to go use that time lapse over here onto their TV. And there's going to be a nice Earth Splitter laid down. They do so much damage. Monet, he gets to get that Sun Harp. He's going to turn back around. He's trying to take it out over onto the Bloodseeker. There's going to be the Zap coming through, but Monet's still going to fall. Zephyr gets himself a double kill here, and they're going to still chase after the Stinker. Can they find him in time? The Blink comes out. He is just on the run. Doesn't look like they're going to find it just yet, but they've get two buybacks coming out immediately here. Coming out from the Bane and, of course, from this Terra Blade. Rest of the team running away. Tinker TPing now over here. They try to get the stun off. We'll be able to land a four times multi cast, but he's going to take a little nap here. And their follow up coming out from stage is just looking real good right now. They take down Zephyr. Moon Meander, he's still trying to fight his way through. He's a big tanky boy, but there's just too much wailing on him. And a final laser beam will take him out. There's going to be a pretty nice interaction. Moon Meander. Ooh, he's looking. They've got the vision, though. We'll turn around. <laughs> just gets burnt down here. e -Blade can't quite get up over to the high ground enough. Stay's going to be dominating. They'll follow up with a Laguna. They've got the Earth Splitter as well. Gems are dropped over here onto the ground. They'll actually be able to take down Zephyr. And they're still trying to find a little bit more here. Nay, Moon just... He tried to get the stun off, but Mantle gets popped. Too many illusions. Can't find the proper target as they get the... Oh, Sarah pushes them back immediately. They'll follow up with a Hex with some lasers. That is just a wicked kill streak taken down. The tips come out. Oh my god, they just blow up 1437. Uh, okay, all right. Attempt double just getting thrown up to the top there, keeping their eyes. Oh, stay, stay. They found stay. Can they get this? There's going to be the Raptor coming out. They'll be able to use the Laguna Blade. They just take him out. The immediate buyback, though, he's not ready to be taken out just yet. And it looks like they're actually going to be able to take down the for again here. Don't have the buyback. Did land that uh, split over onto the side. Lena going to take a little bit of a nap. And now they might be in for some trouble. There's just so much damage coming out from Monet right now. They actually do have that over here onto Lena. She's trying to save herself just a little bit longer, but there's too much damage coming out from Tinker as he did buy back. Lena's going to come right back into the fight again. This is not looking good right now for Tigers. They are just losing people left and right. They're literally hemorrhaging all these kills, but there's going to be the BKB. They take the tower. What's next here, guys? Still Ogre dead. Tigers really need their Ogre to be alive to give that extra control and extra damage as we've seen now. Hookshot, Hookshot comes through. Back. Oh, they find it over into Lena, but she's going to be able to burst herself away with a little bit of a push. And they get that Yule's off, turn back around. Can they get this kill over into SRF? But they managed to get the kill over to 1437. That's a feels bad man when you're in your own fountain and you're not safe. You pop the Aegis though over here. Oh, <laughs> the denial down here too. It's like, come on, I dare you. <laughs> I dare you to try to take it. Moon, they're hunting for him. Yeah, they had a dust. He still has his Shadow Blade up in about three seconds. Do they have the control for him before that? Oh, they yeah, they do. That is a lot of control coming out. Fiend Script, they've got the Hex, they've got lasers. They've got all sorts of wonderful things. He's going to try to run himself away. It's low, though. Low cool. Uh, low duration. Oh, the Force Staff coming out. Is it going to be enough to save him? It's not looking really good right now. Immediately, Monet comes walking right up top here. They've got that Laguna Blade, but it doesn't matter. Buyback coming out from Moon right now. They want to try to defend this. They need to find themselves a kill over here. We'll be able to go. Try to slow down Monet just a little bit, but he gets the Sunder off. And now it looks like Wonder Kid, he's got to limp himself away. Still a lot of damage, a lot of control coming out here. Can they take down Monet? They'll find it. He does have the buyback, though. And look how speedy this Bloodseeker is. He really oh wants to get himself God. a little bit more. Finds himself that 3-4-3, three, three, and he's still on the hunt.